Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Solization 6. So, we still have at least 37 turns of Golden Age left, which means at least 37 turns of Monumentality. And I plan to take full advantage of that. We also have a settler heading south. Uh, the plan is to settle around here. I need to see what exactly is around here, uh, then I can decide the exact location. But that's the plan. And then there's another settler, and I'm going to send him east. Maybe I can settle somewhere around here. It would be good to have a city in this general area. We'll see. Even if it's not an amazing city. And I will still get a city somewhere around here, but that's low priority because it's not like anyone is going to steal that. And even if they did, I could probably handle that. I was also thinking about the building Kilwakisiwani, because it's still available, and I could get allied with quite a few city-states. I only have two at the moment, but I can get quite a few more easily. There's not a lot of competition in many of them, and I have all of Minerva, and there are a few quests I could do quite easily. So, maybe I'll do that. Alright, I can't go through here, that's fine. Let's see, we got four more builds. I might buy some of this rainforest and then chop it. Uh, like this one. This is flat, yeah? Okay, yeah, let's just buy this and chop this to speed up that encampment and get slightly more food. And then I'll need this spot for a district. And probably just buy the stone. I have the gold, so it's fine, no problem. Alright, let's keep moving. Hopefully no one is going to settle over there by the time I get there. It seems pretty unlikely, but you never know. <laughs> Embassy is fine. Also, let's check trades. Every man should make his son learn some Here we got the guilds and the banking boast. Okay, yeah, we can sell the coffee. Uh, that's a good price. And let's sell some strategic resources while people are still buying. Because they might not be buying for much longer. Yeah, let's sell Niter as well because uh, that's a lot. Here you go. Uh, that's still a decent price. And we got another governor title. So hold on a second. Let's actually pick up a researcher here. I don't need more science because I'm a little bit behind. Georgia. They are in the lead right now. With 32 techs, I got 23. And I have less than half of their science per turn. So I need to work on that a little bit. Still need a campus in my capital, but I need 13 population in there first. Okay, I might keep Gothic architecture if I'm going to build another wonder. I don't really need anything else in here right now. I suppose I could pick up Republican Legacy, but my amenities are good. So I don't really need that. Uh, we could actually pick up Craftsman, that's a good one, but instead of what? Uh, well, right here. Okay, that works. That should help. How's our production right now, anyway? Uh, 50 in the capital, 33 in here, 23, 15 and 22. Right, so 33 is actually pretty decent. I can probably get this higher. This is without an industrial zone. The city does not have an industrial zone yet, so that is pretty good. Alright, let's keep exploring down here. Uh, we're also about to unlock the dam, because I need it in a few places. Uh, well, I need this guy to move out of the way. But I could actually just disembark and go this way. 
Actually, there might be a good spot for a city somewhere in this area. So I might actually settle somewhere around there. Uh, we'll see what kind of terrain there is around there. I might also get Calcutta right here. Rebellion in two turns. I don't really have the time to bring units down here, but hopefully it will flip to us after a while. That's the plan. If I can get that, I certainly will. It has quite a few coastal resources over here. So it's a pretty nice city. Alright, give me the dam. We need that in our capital. And then I still need an industrial zone in Aberdeen. Oh, okay, my guy got killed. Right, I still got the settler. That was the crossbowman, wasn't it? Uh, this should still be fine as long as there aren't barbarians down here. Hopefully it will be fine. <laughs> but a settler without an escort makes me a little bit nervous. Alright, what's next? We could grab cartography. Or castles or stirrups. I do have a few pastures. And then that leads to banking. I need to check if I have a spot for the Great Zimbabwe. I might build that. Right, let's get stirrups. Or... Okay, no, I don't really need cartography right now. But I will need it later for industrialization. I probably won't be boasting square rigging. Right, let's get stirrups because that's only two turns and I will get a little bit of extra food in some cities. Uh, two more builds on this guy. Right, so let's improve the luxuries and then probably get this iron over here. I just need to go all the way around, so I'll do that with the last build. That makes sense. Not necessarily to sell it, but for the yields. Okay, this looks like a pretty decent spot, potentially. I might settle over here. Uh, how about more builders? Uh, Liang is over here at the moment. How much for a builder? 165. Where do I need a builder the most? I guess Haddington still kind of needs one. I could also wait to fight by a settler. Because I still want to settle somewhere near the Dead Sea. And maybe try to build Petra over here. Because it's still available. I could try to build it. Will we get a great engineer to boast wonder construction? No, probably not. I would have to pay a lot. I could do it, technically. It might be worth considering, just to be able to use him to get Petra in here. I would have to do it with gold, though, because I need faith to fight by the settler. But I might actually do that. Just need to keep an eye on it. They are not getting a lot of points, but I'm not getting a lot of points either. Still, not a lot of competition yet. So I'll try to get this guy. I can buy him with gold right before India gets him. Again, just need to keep an eye on it. Alright, let's see. Uh, we got the Grand Master's Chapel, so now I can fade by units. Uh, no need to do that just yet, but it will be useful in the future, hopefully. And now we could grab Kilwaki Siwani. Uh, but if I'm going to do that, it probably makes sense to harvest the resource. Otherwise it's a bit of a waste. If I fade by a builder, that will delay a settler a little bit. Which is probably fine. Okay, yeah, I actually think that's fine. Uh, we'll grab the workshop while we wait to harvest this. 
uh, we got one envoy total right now. Uh, there are a few city states I can get. Send the trader out. That's a little bit far away. What's the bonus though? Uh, that's not very useful for me right now. What about this one? I don't think I'll be building entertainment complex just yet. I don't really need one right now. Uh, this is a decent bonus. I think I'll grab that one then. And uh, Samarkand Trading Dome. Interesting. Okay, let's grab one more city state here. That'll do. Another governor title. So now I could pick up grants on Pingala. That's an option. We could also pick up Amani. Let's actually pick up Amani and send her to one of the city states. So I could go for Preslav. I could go for Samarkand. Uh, let's actually go for Samarkand. That's fine. Off you go then. Oh yeah, and that's uh, this city state here. I definitely want to be allied with that because it's close to me. Okay, gold looks good. Let's keep an eye on that engineer. They are only getting two points per turn. So I don't want to spend too much gold. I will spend a lot, no matter what. But oh well. I think it's worth it to get Petra. And it should be pretty damn good for this city. Uh, the only question is where exactly do I want to settle here? Well... Probably not here. Because I'll miss out on quite a few decent tiles if I settle here. And if I'm going to get Petra in this city, I would rather keep every single desert hill for Petra, you know? So maybe like here or here? If we settle here... Okay, hold on. Let's say we settle here. We'll get a few resources. The fish, the crab, camels, camels, and more camels to the west, and a lot of desert in range. Now, this is all assuming I will get the Petra, which hopefully I will. If I settle here, I will also have every single desert hill in range. So, it's a pretty nice spot. This is better than this one. No real benefit settling here. I'll just have a bunch of mountains in range. So I think this spot is just superior. Okay, we're going for this spot. I might even just grab it first. And then send the other settler after this to settle this area. I want to get this city started ASAP. Okay, and uh, down here. Again, hopefully there are no barbarians down here, but it doesn't look like there are any. Yeah, there are mountains blocking the way to the west. We'll settle here. Hey, could I get a canal here in the future? Yeah, I could. If I harvest the cattle, I could get a canal. We'll see if it's beneficial to get it. But it's an option. So, more luxuries. Who's buying? Yep, that's reasonable. Here you go. Amenities still look good. Most cities should be ecstatic. If not all of them. Yep, every single city is still ecstatic. Very nice. And I want to keep it that way because of Scottish Enlightenment bonus. So, that's the plan. We do have a lot of luxuries. Government? Yeah, I think this is good. I suppose I could get rid of land surveyors for now. Uh, because I'm saving the gold for the great engineer right now. I will probably spend 1600 here. Do I need to buy any tiles in the near future? And uh, Not really. Can we switch it to anything useful? Probably like caravansaries or something. 
but it's not a whole lot of gold. I suppose I might as well just keep it. <laughs> There's no real benefit switching it to anything else. I can get plus four gold per turn. Big deal. Let's just keep it. To have the option of buying. Oh, hold on. Uh, Georgia is sending a settler, eh? Not quite sure where that settler is going. It might be going like here. Betwixt the stirrup and the gr Pretty sure it will flip from loyalty if it settles here. But this is a decent spot, actually. Right here. This is a decent spot. Not amazing or anything, but quite a few resources in range. So they might settle here. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Wait, who do I have a cultural alliance with? It wasn't Georgia, right? Uh, where's Georgia? Here. Economic alliance, right, right. Uh, so, next up... Probably banking. Uh, or we could just work on industrialization, basically. Yeah, let's just work on industrialization. That makes sense. I don't think I'll be boasting square digging. However, that plus one movement for embarked units would actually be super useful. Let's just go directly for square rigging first. That will be very, very useful. There's the encampment, my first one, and probably the only one for a while. Now, I guess I'll just build industrial zone here. It won't be amazing, but I think it's fine. And this is a nice spot for a campus too. So this could be a campus here. Let's just mark it. So campus in the future. Yeah, it won't be an amazing industrial zone, but it's fine. It's good enough. The city doesn't exactly have a lot of space, you know. <laughs> so my options are limited. And now this guy can go all the way around to get the iron. That's his last build. Okay, harvest the bonus resource, and then I will build Kilwakisiwani here, right? Yep, that was the plan. Works for me. Now this will be the city right here. Yep. And we'll try to get Petra in here. This will be a pretty damn good Petra city. And the city on this hill over here. Yeah, this looks reasonable. We'll have pearls in range, some crabs, two tiles with stone, wine to the southeast, quite a few forests in range, and a few tiles with a marsh that I can harvest to get food. Uh, however, we should probably buy these two tiles before the city-state gets them. So I'll do that. Uh, let's heal up that scout. Uh, how's the great engineer? Okay, well, I can almost get him. I will not be waiting too long, because I don't want India to suddenly improve uh, their great engineer point gains and get him faster than expected. Or use gold or faith themselves. Not sure how often the AI really does that, but this is the best way to build Petra. I don't want to miss out on it. Alright, this is it. Done. Uh, that's also some era score. Maybe we can get yet another golden age. Looks doable, maybe. So, right. Let's see. Uh, let's improve the salt first. Yeah, this city will not have a lot of food until we get that Petra. But I could grab industry right here, right away. To get a decent tile. I think that makes sense. What other city has salt again? Because uh, this is growth and housing. Let me check what other city has salt. Where's salt? Uh, right here, but that's not improved. Yeah, Aberdeen, basically. That's the one. Okay. Well, if I can manage to build Petra in here, that growth would definitely be useful. So, this is good. 
let's just grab industry here, and that's a nice tile we can work right away. So it's immediately helpful. All right, a monument probably. I might just buy it. Hey, wait, no, I need gold. Yep, I need gold for the great engineer. So, where are we going with the galley? I think I'm mostly done exploring around here. Yep, pretty much. Uh, do we just buy that engineer right now? Maybe. Let's sell the salt first. Okay, that's 1800. Let's just buy this guy. Not much point waiting. I won't save that much gold by waiting. And we should just build Petra right away. It's still available, right? Yep. I could buy an extra tile somewhere to plant the districts a little bit better. Yeah, I should actually plant the districts. So, hold on. I can only have an aqueduct over here. So, if I want an industrial zone next to the, an aqueduct, uh, it would have to be here. Which I don't think is the best idea. And I think I would rather keep this forest. So, I'm going to pass on an aqueduct in this city. It's not going to be an amazing industrial zone, no matter what. I don't think so. But we can use Petra for the theater square. Probably best if we build it here, not directly next to the city. So, right here. That works. Okay, get started on that right away. Get the engineer. How much production is that exactly? What's the total here? Uh, 400. Yes, yeah, so if I use both of the charges, we will complete it. Uh, not sure if he has one or two charges, actually. Either way, I'm definitely buying him. That's also some error score. Yeah, he has two charges. So we don't even have to build this right now. Because it will be done, like, instantly, when I use two charges. Might as well switch to Monument. <laughs> Watch somebody beat me to it now. That would be a big troll. I mean, it's pretty unlikely, but I won't say it's impossible. Alright, this will be a city. And now we probably want to buy the tiles. How much gold is that? Uh, I'll need slightly more than this. Let's sell some nitre, because I'm capped, and also iron. People are still buying, so I'm still selling. Not to mention uh, we'll get another source in a few turns. Let's just sell all of it right now. It's not like I need a military right now. Nobody is going to declare war on me. And the gold is far more useful. Yep, more gold from horses. Here you go, and let's sell some nitre as well. 118, yep. Okay, so buy these tiles here. Again, just so that the city-state doesn't get them. And we'll harvest uh, the marsh to get the food in here. That's the plan. Okay, looking good. Let's go get that Petra, shall we? Yes, let's. Oh, somebody's attacking a city-state. Uh, I don't think I'm allied with that one. No, I'm not. Uh, that's India attacking the city-state. Okay. Here's some era score. And the diplomatic service. Uh, where the heck is it? Oh, wait, it flipped. Right, okay, never mind. Wait, uh, that's not a city-state. That was India's city. They are trying to take it back. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Good for them. Uh, Alright, I move that engineer. Here you go, give me my Petra, thank you very much. Uh, buy some more tiles. What's the best tile here? I guess any desert hill will be good. Uh, but let's grab this lumber mill here. Like so. Uh, for the civics... Let's see, I could get a reform the church here, that would also unlock the golf course. I don't think I'll be boasting it in the near future. 
Uh, that seems unlikely. Because I'm spending faith for other things. Uh, speaking of which, we can afraid by a settler now. So let's grab that. I think that will be the last one for now. But we shall see. I think it will be the last one. Now I want to spread my religion a little bit. I don't think I'm changing anything here. Uh, I let the workshop finish. What else? Yeah, get some improvements here. Get more salt. I can probably sell that. The archer can escort the settler. Right, get some food in here. <laughs> they are impressed. Damn right. This has been such an interesting map to play. Alright, give me my Petra already, damn it. I want my Petra. Uh, oh, I need to actually switch it back, I guess. Wait, nobody built it, right? No. <laughs> okay, I was worried for a second. Here you go. And uh, one more. I guess leaving it on for one turn doesn't matter. There's the workshop. A water mill is a single turn. We'll grab that. I got two envoys. Uh, we will get Samarkand because Amani is on the way. What else? Looks like I need more envoys. Religious conversion. Yeah, we'll see about that. And go back with the galley. Maybe upgrade it to something useful. I don't think I have gypsum actually, so let's improve that. Here you go. Uh, four builds. This is in range. And I can probably sell it. Pretty sure someone will still buy it. Uh, yeah, definitely. Here you go, enjoy your salt. Alright, let's go with the settler. Oh yeah, there's Anansi. Uh, I was waiting for him. So where do I send him? I don't think it matters too much. I'm going to send him somewhere where I definitely won't be settling a city. So it could actually be here. It's an option. Not quite sure where exactly this barbarian camp is. Probably like here. But this makes sense. Uh, I could also send him like here. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much. Just harvest something I definitely won't be using myself. That's not super far away. But yeah, let's actually move him here, because I can explore a little bit of this terrain. We got 33 turns. There's no huge rush, you know? Uh, so, four builds. Uh, I will grab this stone uh, to have a decent tile to work. Yep. And then we can harvest the marsh. To get more food here. Kickstart this city. Alright, give me my Petra, damn it. I want my Petra. Petra there it is. is Done. Display of man's Very nice. In turning barren rock into majestic. This is going to be such a good Petra city, actually. Check out this tile right away. Oh, this is so good. This city has like almost exclusively desert tiles as far as land goes. The only exceptions are this forest and this single tile with plains. But everything else is like a desert, not counting mountains, because you can't really work those. That's a lot of desert tiles. And quite a few desert hills as well. This is going to be so good. Check out the salt tile. Five food, three production, four gold. This is so good. I love it. So I think that's a great moment to end this episode. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm as is tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.